Hi, let's say like how to fix empty device must be supplied device name is empty error. Recently we come across or recently we became more fond of Linux OS and removed Windows and installed Ubuntu OS on our system. After the successful installation, we have also rebooted the system. Unfortunately, the boot process is stopped by the following error. Empty device must be supplied. Device name is empty on the string. It can be frustrating if the booting is interrupted by a storage error after the fresh installation and we don't know the problem. The error message occurs because the operating system kernel crashes while booting. This particular video shows you like how we can fix this particular error. The MTD device must be supplied. The device name is empty and run your system smoothly. Let's try to understand what causes this particular error. MTD device must be supplied. Device is empty. Error to fix this error. Okay, so empty device must be supplied. Device name is empty means operating system cannot access your storage for some reasons. So you whenever you get this particular error, you will see like this. MTD stands for memory technology device. It refers to an SSD or hard drive inside your system. In most cases, the issue can be solved by upgrading the operating system since it's a bug of a particular workshop. The error occurs if the kernel is crashed or there might be an error with the hard drive. Any loosened cable connection inside or outside the CPU may hit, may give you this particular error. Or any issues with the driver. Okay. And also the bug in the installed operating version, operating system version itself will give you this kind of error. So you don't have enough memory and need to delete some files or add an extra memory to run the operating system. Let's see like how to fix memory technology device must be supplied device name is empty. So power off your system and unplug it from the power supply. Wait for two minutes and plug in again to reboot again because the booting error also occurs when there is not enough power to supply the system. Replugging re will remove any power glitches and help the system boot properly. Let's see some of the methods where you can fix this particular kind of error. The first method is upgrade your operating system. As mentioned above, the error is standard in a specific version of Linux operating system. The development team has fixed the bug in the later version. There is a high possibility that you have installed the operating system with the bug. By running the following command, you can fix this kind of particular error in the recovery mode. While booting your system or the PC, press and, shift, press and hold the shift button. Windows appears and choose advanced options for Ubuntu. Choose the recovery mode of the newest kernel. After the recovery menu, select the network and then hit enter. It takes few seconds. After that, you, you go to the root if, it, if it's the shell and hit the enter. You have to type the following commands apt hyphen get update. It will update the application inside the operating system. Okay, so if you type apt get update space upgrade hyphen y upgrading the entire operating system to the next version apt hyphen get dst dist hyphen upgrade hyphen y to install the dependent package then finally reboot now you can see the error is successfully removed from your system and you can access this and you can access the linux operating system the second method is delete NVIDIA driver from your operating system. Sometimes the issue with the driver updates, especially in the NVIDIA was missing, which might block kernel boot. You have already updated the driver 
by running the DAST upgrade command. Then try removing the driver from the recovery mode. When booting the system, press and hold the shift key. In the grab menu, select recovery mode entry and let the system boot. You will be presented with another menu. Scroll down and select the root shell prompt. Run the following commands mount n o remount which shows like this and also run this this command these two commands then finally you can reboot it if the issue is with the driver or you will not see the error on booting okay and the third method is check the space on disk in your system you will get the MTD memory error if you don't have enough space to load the kernel. And by freeing up the space, you can fix the particular error. Following the some of the steps or the above steps entered in the recovery mode. Find and locate, try to make a free space from the recovery mode. In the command prompt, log in as root and then type the following command something like this apt auto remove it removes the cache memory and the temporary files if you want to remove the specific folder type this command and here you need to enter the file path and the fourth method is disable the secure boot from the bios secure boot is beneficial since it detects any malicious or infected files on the boot sometimes it blocks some of the critical loading components it stops your system from booting successfully power off your system hit delete or f2 or f12 or f10 buttons on your keyboard continuously as soon as your your power on the pc to enter into the bios Select the security tab from the BIOS and disable the secure boot or reboot your system. You can see the error is gone and entered into the operating system successfully. And the fifth method is check all your input cables. Kernel is a base of operating system that interacts with the hardware and the operating system. Any issues in the communication with the hardware also leads to the MTD error. So ensure you have connected all the cables connected correctly to your system. The cable include hardware, HDMI and VGA cables. You can also replug these cables and reboot your system. If the error persists, replug the cable inside the CPU unit Unity if you are using the desktop. It will help you to run the operating system without any errors. The error will be fixed by upgrading the operating system most of the time and many users report that the error is automatically resolved by turning it on, on the next day it happens because you give the pc time to shut down completely when you power it on after giving some time it removes the minor glitch or the boxes caused by miscommunication inside the electronic circuit of the system okay so i hope that uh, you you got the solution for this kind of particular error empty device must be supplied device name is empty error okay so that's all about this thank you